right, can you read that? Can you read what's on my foot? If your slipper reading skills are on point, and if I haven't made you completely dizzy by now, then you have gathered that I am currently uh, in Ibiza. This is my last night here. I'm at the Ibiza Grand Hotel. Now, um, you know what this is, you know what I do, you know why you're here and why you're watching this. This is another edition of Atrax Hotel Reviews, live and direct, Ibiza Grand Hotel. Um, yes, this hotel does give you slippers with uh, their name on it. It has other perks though. What am I sitting on right now? Have you noticed? What do you call this thing? Is this a jacuzzi? Is it a... a it's not a hot tub. I think a hot tub is for many people and, and round. This is some sort of bathtub with jets of water. Jet stream something. World jet hot koozie thing. I tried it uh, and it, it, it works. Uh, yes, it's a little strange that this is in the middle of the room, but hey, this is the um, island of pleasure, music, and uh, free love, I guess. This is Ibiza, uh, Ibiza, which actually uh, isn't necessarily known for nice hotels. Uh, last, the first time I came here two years ago, I stayed at a place that was very average. So this is a step up from anything I've experienced before on the island of techno. This is a, a rock that uh, flew in this morning from my window. I caught it with my catcher's mitt and I left it there. And uh, I'm going to call um, the Space Institute in the morning uh, as soon as I'm done trimming my beard. A uh, nice selection of bathroom products, which is always important for me, including bath salts. I like the fact that I can leave my wig on the plants. This is normally uh, on my head when I perform. It's, it's my new thing. It's a sort of desert Rod Stewart thing that I've been trying out. Anyways, I'm resting my wig. Uh, on that pile of rocks. Please don't touch it. It's very fragile. Um, this is the the entrance of the, the room where you find um, the mini bar and selection of snacks and uh, nuts. There's one thing that's um, very stupid <laughs> about this room. I'm gonna say flat out there's a there's a glaring... do you say glaring or blaring? flaring mistake with the design of this room. When you open that door, it automatically flicks the lights either on or off for you. I think the idea is that when you walk into the room, it turns the lights on for you automatically. When you leave, it turns them off. Here's the problem. Uh, staff from the hotel comes and knocks at my door many times a day to see if I you know, want turn down service on my bed or if they can check my mini bar. Every time they open the door, and I'm actually in the room with the lights on, it turns the lights off. It drives me crazy. It drives me crazy even though the sign on the door specifically says that I don't want to be molested. But hey, the bed is big, comfortable, fluffy. You got some light controls right by the bed which is useful, practical. Um, actually, th there's another weird thing. Maybe you can call this more of a uh, Mediterranean design, I don't know. But the shower uh, is not separated from anything else. As it turns out, the shower is not separated uh, from the bathroom. So, you take your shower, um, this whole area becomes wet, and you basically have to wait for the maid to come and clean your room, and then she brings a mop and mops off the wet floor. So if you happen to have to use the bathroom, whether it be a number one or number two, it doesn't really matter. If you're at that time of the day where you've used the shower and you haven't cleaned your room yet, that means that you're stepping on wet floor. Kind of weird. Maybe this is a handicap room. I don't know. I wonder if they're trying to tell me something. Suddenly I feel confused. As you can see, there's plenty of desk space, which is important for a... Uh, traveling musicians such as myself. There's a nice little uh, reading chair and it's the middle of the night so you can't really see what's outside but there's actually 
a very big swimming pool out there. Uh, the hotel is very well located. We're across the street from Pasha, where I played last night. Uh, and true story, they sent me a text message before the show and asked for no bangers, just sexy disco in-house. There's a great spot at the hotel uh, where you can go and uh, do various uh, treatments that involve water, different temperature, hy hydrotherapy, showers. It goes from like hot to cold to some sort of salt inhalation um, schwitz of sorts all the while being surrounded um, by Sp Spanish men who have um, leather skin tan and multiple tribal tattoos and long hair and I seem, seem very confident about their sexuality but that's neither here nor there incidentally the um the other solution for lodging in Ibiza is to just actually get uh, a villa, a house, which a lot of the, um, the house gods do when they spend their summer here. Actually get a house and stay up on the hill somewhere, which is really nice. Uh, if you're not going to get your own house, as far as hotels, um, this seems to be the best one that I've encountered, encountered so far. Room service is pretty good, and the staff is bilingual, and they fixed the button on my shirt. So with that, toodaloo, farewell, party on, and house music all night long. Mm.